What's up, everybody? My name is Alehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin. If you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bells to be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin episode. Nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Really good pace, a really good um build up to things. And honestly, I don't know if we're even going to see the hero in this season because it really just feels like we're building up. And if we ever do see the hero, like Lou legit sees the hero, it's probably going to be the last episode. <laughs> but besides that, uh, let's just watch this one. This episode, episode nine. Oh, yes, the first assignment. Huh. Military and drugs, not a good combo. As military secrets to the neighboring kingdoms in exchange for a drug. Bison. You know, Bison sounds like Viagra. You think he's taking the Bison himself? But that wouldn't be good because that would influence. Self, right? And he, he wouldn't be able to run his territory as well, correct? I wonder if he's using the Vizen to control people. I'm not, I'm not too sure if people understand when I say, like, use drugs to control the people. What I mean is sort of like how we have poverty in the U.S. A lot of the poverty is uh, rooted from drug use once upon a time, from way, 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 way back. And from that drug use, people started becoming dependent on where that drug was coming from. And when they got out of it, they became dependent on the government who was providing assistance and such. Oh, dang. Mom really wants to be part of every stage in his life. I wouldn't be surprised. Dang. I wouldn't be surprised if he does have a wet dream and she sneakily if she could maybe she wouldn't sneakily she can't sneak around him she would literally take the blanket that has the residue and she would cut it and put it in like some type of collection Luke's life <laughs> collection like she'll I was thinking about putting it like in a a book but she could probably jar it she probably have like a whole room just dedicated to him creepy I hope she doesn't do that that'd be weird but the mom she like picked that information out of Tarty oh gosh Heart, you're not loyal to Lug. You just stole everything.
Why do you want grandchildren so soon? Look at Tart's face. She's like not happy. She's sulking. But honestly, did Tart not think that she would have a mistress? <gasps> or will you bear Luke's babies? She's like, of course I'd bear his children. I think Luke's mom set Tart up. I think she trapped Tart to say that. I was like, okay, do it immediately. And now she's like, perhaps it's not soon. Since it's me, you know, the situation changed. Oh my gosh. Does the mom know about Maha? Or if she knew about Maha, Maha would be like, yes, madam, I will bear his children. Yes, I am worthy. Yes, please pick me to bear his children. Or she'd be like all business like. Huh. Very interesting how they're showcasing the use of magic accelerator. Twenty five years earlier. Are they going by tens? Like fifty five, forty five, thirty five, twenty five. You'll demoralize the hero and prevent the world's destruction. How does demoralizing him stop the hero? Will he be so ashamed that he'll stop being a hero? A leap in front of the hero's carriage and photograph the hero. Inventing countless scandals. Okay. I'm just going to say this. Is the hero that squeaky clean that you have to create an incident? Like, does the hero have no vice? Like, does he not, you know, feel lust? That maybe you could get a lady to seduce him? Or maybe manipulate him, like conning him into a scandal. I'm just saying. Like saying that he funded for something, but it was actually he was funding something bad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the drug, isn't it? Yep. Luke Coot. Barton. <laughs> Art was taking the opportunity to be all lovey dovey. Yep, it was the drug. Yep, we called it. It was the drug. Whoa! Nice. Very, very nice. Dang! She's trying to, like, save the merchandise.
Did her mom get drugged? Damn. Her mom became dependent on it. Holy cow. Crazy. That's like gotten it when she got like the free sample from Once Upon a Time. This kind of reminds me of a manhwa that I've been reading. I think it's called Please Throw Me Away or Please Don't Throw Me Away. Something along the lines and a drug was being distributed, targeting nobles actually, uh, but it was being distributed and it was actually being used to control the nobles. Ooh, the cosmetics, yes. Oh, the ringleader is the Count! <laughs> Made from a perennial plant named Vise. Count distributes the drug to other lords regions and claims the Mafia transport the drug through his region. He sends bribes to higher-ranking nobles. Yo, that count is a drug lord. Okay, so are they saying that the count is making the drug and he's saying that it's being distributed by a mafia from another kingdom? Like, the drug is from another kingdom. That's his story. You know, his friend. But another drug is from... The drug is from another kingdom, and the mafia is transporting it into his area. But in actuality, he's the one making the drug. Yes, have you entire progressed as a man and a woman? You seem to occasionally blow off steam at brothels? Tart was nearly in tears every time you went to a brothel. <laughs> oh, she's catching on. She, he, he says he forces himself not to have romantic feelings. He's like, yeah, we're family. She senses it that he's making that line. Crossing that line, yo. No attachments. Ooh, ah, smooth. How could we not fall in love with you? Wow, Maha, you are being really straightforward. I like it. I wonder how Tart is going to explode. Is she just going to attack Luke? Wouldn't mind being second to her? Convenient mistress? Keep a mistress or two? Yo, she, she understands how things work and she's trying to finesse through it. Because I love you too, she says. Dying. Wait, 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 wait. You say you're going to wait until you're actively pursuing? Wait. This is passive? 
bra. This feels pretty active to me. This is an active dang. She's like, prepare yourself. <laughs> you better prepare yourself in the name of love. Find it fascinating that I can tell she is wearing makeup, and they're purposely doing that so we know that makeup is involved. You're poor nobles? Wait, how did the Count get information about the drug then? I have a feeling that someone is behind Count. Like they gave a little nudge and the Count just get off with it. Creating a drug ring. But dang, this woman has a lot of accessories on. She has like an accessory everywhere she could put it. I bet if she could get a nose ring, she would have one there too. Lip ring. Other rings. Toe ring. Look at those men talking to Maha. <laughs> They're like, bye boy, we see the product. <laughs> Worry about her cheating on me? Well, boy, I think you would be cheating on her. I mean, you hiding some stuff from her. You might as well just hide cheating with from her. If you do cheat. Chocolate. Moisturizer. Wine. What a good combination. Okay, they do look like a really good couple. They look like they love each other. Like they look like they're genuinely in love. Like he, they care for each other. That's what it looks like. And I do like how they showed time pass, like they took their time for this assassination. There's a lot of stuff they show, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This one looks pretty realistic. Because they were guests at the party, they can't be 
the blame can't be pointed at them because they weren't the only ones that were there. And I like over here, he's saying that I'm not being told to kill someone. I want to kill them. Yo! He's so sad. He has a lot more feelings in this life as an assassin than he did in the previous one. In the previous one, he was just a tool. And this one, having reason behind his actions. And he's feeling compassion too. Let's run this scene again over here. So. The Count has mana that protects himself. And they're going to use this to assassinate him. I'm more than just a killing tool. I decide for myself whether or not I'll kill someone. I decided that this man should be killed. Ooh, that was so good. Look at that, that animation. <sighs> Dang. Mission complete. We see that emotion in Luke's face that. <gasps> in the past, killing never moved my heart. That. The wife, she's so sad. She's in despair. Looks like it now. Now my heart's being moved. I do like how they show that little scene of past self looking at his present self. And over here we can see their bond. Won't forget this assignment and resolve. Ooh, this episode was really good. Mm -hmm. This was, I want to say, like a second affirmation that he is Ufahade. This is his life. This is how he's going to run it. He's having that resolve again. Really like it. And I really like how, I want to say, you're kind of like setting things up about the kingdom. About the different nobles. And art plus Maha's uh, relationship progression, progress, relationship progress with Lou. We know how it is with Dia. He's like, I love Dia. Yeah. Okay. That's in the basket. Now it's art and Maha. <laughs> this harem, I don't mind it. I actually don't because it's like everybody's making an effort in getting into a relationship with him and there's no uh competition rivalry everybody's working together while like in some other harems i've seen it's like they're oblivious that it's been a harem they're just like oh it's just in him don't care about the others and then later on when they do realize there's others in this harem they get all mad so <laughs> 
Well, not mad, but, like they get in here, like all kinds of feelings is happening. Their true feelings are coming now, and they're having a hard time addressing them. Blah 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 blah. Besides that, uh, I like this. Yes, but what did you guys think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on Twitch.tv slash Lehuasupina. And outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel, reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 9. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!